him a call. He's an old-fashioned guy, really. He's very simple. You don't know what he knows and what he doesn't know. And this one's much more personal because the battle's with himself as well. It's not just with the bad guys. Nine seconds. That's what you have to decide your fate. kind of mind and skill set that Robert McCall has. It's not goofy, it's not some big action hero. It's a regular guy who uses what's available to him. He's the kind of guy you wish lived on your block or in your apartment building. I think he does not like at all people being taken advantage of, but most especially people who are voiceless and don't have the protections that a lot of people do. And those are the people he helps. I think people connect with McCall because he sees something that isn't right and it might take him on a big journey, but the root cause of why he does what he does is providing justice to the everyday person. He came there to do a particular thing and go. Now he's witnessing bad behavior from these bad guys that are threatening good people. So, this is a much more personal story, more internal than external. That he has to make choices like Shane. Do you hang up the gun or do you do something about it? Do you accept the love that's being presented to you or do you walk away and live a life of loneliness? He has to look in the mirror. He has to look at his own heart. And I don't think he's necessarily happy about what he sees but he hasn't had the opportunity to share it, not in an intimate way. He's vulnerable. He's beginning to open up, if you will. Remember what I asked you? Yeah, am I a good man or bad man, you asked me. And you said you didn't know. I don't know. Only a good man would have said that. We all have a past, and if we try to redeem ourselves, if we have the luck and the opportunity to be able to maybe make it right in some way, I think that this is something that we've seen also in the past films where he's always come face to face with people. You can be anything you want to be. I mean your world, Robert. Change your world. But why me? Let's find out together. I'm hoping that you're going to change what you've done and you're going to try to, you know, redeem yourself in some way and when Amina sees him, she knows that he's a good man at heart. I would love to show you the real food of Altamonte. Would you come with me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Robert McCall is at a place of wanting to settle down. He doesn't know when he gets to this town that he's going to settle down because he hadn't planned it that way. But once he's there, he starts to fall in love with the town, the people, the food, the atmosphere, the air, the sea, and he surprises himself. And the people. I'm starting to believe from the bottom of my heart that this is where I'm supposed to be. So, whatever it is that you and your friends do, please do it somewhere else. You warning me? I'm preparing you. I think this story is about good people that find themselves in bad situations because of bad people. And so we have to deliver the suffering of, of good people that struggle with situations that they just can't cope with. And so someone comes in to, to, <laughs> to help them. It's always personal, because he's doing it for people you would know, like yourself. You fall in love with these characters, and uh, whenever he goes after someone, it feels more personal. Who are you? You seem like a man who understands violence. I understand weakness. I understand pain. I understand death. I understand suffering. And because of these people, I'm starting to understand peace. You can't take that away from me. He goes on a journey that obviously becomes a bigger thing and uncovers a terrorist organization, but he is really doing it for this one guy to get his retirement fund back. Greg Dyer, he's a bricklayer, 43 years. His union's pension fund got hacked. He lost everything he worked his entire life for. 
Is this guy some friend of yours? No. no. I think people connect with that simple message of getting justice for the everyday person. Why something like this for a stranger? It's a good question. And he never asks for credit. He does it because he has to do it. That's a guy that has a moral compass. Romer McCall becomes almost wish fulfillment that we wish there were more of him helping more of us. What Robert McCall represents is something that each and every one of us dreams to have in a certain way, and, and that is something that hopefully everyone wants in their life. I think that audiences at home, they feel very close to McCall, and they know that at times when things get very difficult and you need help, and at times no one shows up, it's like he is a modern day hero. Roberto, what about this? He's the common man. People relate to him. He doesn't fly around with capes or anything. He's like a real character that people can relate to. And they seem to love him and how humble he is. I it's like a cape, though. I thought about getting you one on the third one, but for a mafia, I thought. The mafia, nice. yeah, that may not, that may not go well. <laughs>